I'm not sure how much. Uh, count to, I don't know, it's smaller. Play it safe, count to 15. This video is sponsored by MPB. All right, hello everybody and welcome to another video. And more importantly, welcome to the Southern Highlands of Iceland. This place is just unbelievable. I have just arrived in Iceland after driving my van all the way from the UK. After enjoying a few days alone on the south coast, I have now met up with the legend that is Icelandic Thor, the nicest guy in photography, Mr. Nick Page, the one and only Sean Bagshaw, the owner of the greatest photography gallery in Ireland, Mr. Norman McCloskey, and the highly decorated multi-award winner, Mr. Peter Gordon. I couldn't have asked for better company as we venture into one of the greatest landscape photography locations in the world. So this is the, my first big river crossing and it looks deep and I'm terrified. Oh, that was fine. Nothing to worry about there at all. This is our camp for the night, <laughs> an absolute world away from Vic's campsite from last week's video. That, oh man, this, ah, oh, this is camping. Look at this. I knew that bringing my off-road camper van all this way would have its benefits. Simply being able to arrive at camp and have an instant home from home was worth the drive alone. Unfortunately, the other guys weren't quite as well versed as me at camping. Well, how about that for a campsite? <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. We've just set up, everyone's got their sleeping quarters all sorted out. We've got a communal tent. Uh, there's six of us in total. I'm sure you'll get to know everyone throughout this video. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. We're just gonna have a couple of burgers and then we're heading off, cameras in hand. I'm not taking Deli because she's all set up, awning out, uh, everything ready for camp for a couple of days. So to pack it all away just to drive 30 kilometers down the road is not worth it. So we're gonna jump in Thor's vehicle, which is that one there. And then we're off for a bit of uh, Highland photography, which is what this trip's all been about. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll go get a burger. Yes! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you I'm done. I'm perfectly comfortable. But well, you're right, Tom. I mean, look at that. It's right there. Good man. How is it? Dry. Oh, Mr. Nicholas Page is in the building. Out of the building. We're out, out of the building. So I bought myself a new drone. I bought the Mavic Air. No, it's not a Mavic. Is it DJI Air 3? Uh, I think. And it's so incredible. Come in. Right. You it is kind of a lazy man's like ideal situation because I'm able to like, you know, in the matter of a couple seconds, hike to the top of that big hill over there. It's like video games for photographers. Just making us obsolete as photographers. Yeah. I just couldn't stop thinking about those drone shots. So I thought I would get myself high 
and get the same perspective as a drone. It's quite funny, we've got this vast black desert sand area with this sort of one random peak in the middle of it, quite small, very manageable. So I've just hiked up and man, the vantage point you get, ah, oh, it's incredible, 24 to 70. So there's actually two shots from here. There's the obvious one with the green mountain and the rivers running towards the mountain. And there's another shot behind you. And it's a similar, very similar kind of thing, green mountain, not as prominent as this one, obviously. But the, uh, the rivers are running horizontally at the bottom of frame, so it's slightly different. But for this one, I mean, this is the one, like, but looking at this, I think I need to go down to the very edge of this rock face because the composition I want, well, there's a triangular piece of rock in the foreground. It kind of looks cool, but it also just looks a bit out of place. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to move down. so precarious up here I'm like right on the edge in fact it's I don't feel precarious it's my tripod that's precarious I feel that the trigger of the shutter could unstable it and it will fall but it's, it's worth it for the shot we're gonna go for a 16 by 9 I think so you get that letterbox look with the rivers and the mountain yeah classic it's exactly what you expect it's gonna be and it's very moody so yeah there's no need for me to talk you through it I'll take the shot and uh, pop it on screen it's just just, I love it here. It's so nice, man. I'm so happy right now. Right, anyway, crack on. Right, I'll now go for the uh, second shot, which I, I'm not sure about. I'm going to take it anyway, seeing as I'm here. And it's... It's just got a different feel to it because the rivers are horizontal. Nice and straightforward, F11, two and a half seconds, ISO 64, about 35 mil. Yeah, it's, it's all right, it's all right. It's just, it's the sky, man, the sky is mega. So the whole, everything, all these images are just gonna look like super highly processed, but they're not. Nature is doing all the processing. Man, we've just suffered the photographer's curse, or at least I have, I think most of us have. I woke up in the morning to the news that one of the guys here was out at about 5 a.m., something like that, flying their drone, because at camp and all around us was a cloud inversion. Oh, we had no idea. We all slept through it. Were you up? Were you up this morning for the cloud inversion? Yes. Did you photograph it or? Yes, with a drone. Yeah, they droned it. Yeah. They got it. Okay, so yeah, a few people <laughs> droned it. I missed it because I was sleeping in. Ah, but you can see from this drone footage, which I've stolen from these guys, it looks amazing. <laughs> One of the great things about these photography trips is during the daytime there's quite a lot of downtime where there's not much to do other than just relax and enjoy camp which is what we're doing this morning before we go and scout a location later on this afternoon and then obviously shoot this evening but for now there's a lovely river by our campsite but it's not very deep so i'm going to walk along the river see if i can find a deep pool and have a bit of a wash because man yeah I'm starting to uh Starting to fester a little bit. Okay, let's <laughs> see it up. It's flipping freezing, man. And it's so good. I love it. I love being out when you're out and you're either hiking or camping and just jumping into a cold river. Never want to do it, but every time I do it, it's just, I'm so pleased I did. I feel so much better. Oh. 
Oh, man, this is incredible. No tripod, nice light, handheld, no problem. Image stabilization, and wow. I mean, what a view. Whew. Holy moly. It's just incredible. It's about as straightforward as you get, point and shoot. Although there are some challenges with the bright highlights, but honestly, the contrast and the light on the landscape is phenomenal. It's not like in the UK where you have to work for an image. Not here, it's just gifted to you. So I can't believe how productive today was. It was only meant to be a flipping scouting day. <laughs> it's like stopping and shooting everything. Back at camp now anyway, Nick Page on the barbecue as per usual. Very talented chef. <laughs> Take on. it to the stream. <laughs> it's coming. What exactly is going on here? This is the, uh, the pork chop that went uh, belly up in the dirt. So we're gonna wash it in the pure Icelandic glacier water. Good as new. Look at that, look at this. There we go. That's it. That mask looks perfect. It's quite funny. After all of today's driving, we've decided that actually the best spot this evening is right above camp, as you can see from that previous shot leading to this point. But there is good reason for that. The potential looks amazing. Now, I always say it's always get excited, but just just look. So off to my left is what can only be described as the perfect shaped mountain, which is there. That's the one that's right by our camp. And off to the right of the mountain, so to the side of the mountain, is a huge gaping gap in the dark foreboding sky. Oh, the valley is opening up. It looks beautiful. As I'm walking, I uh, completely forgot or just remembered and I need to thank the sponsor of this video. Keeping on track of this kind of thing when you're on the road, camping, filming everything, you don't know where video one video ends and another video <laughs> begins. It's, it's annoying. It's, uh, yeah, it can get a bit confusing. But anyway, let me thank MPB. Now, MPB is a platform where you can buy, sell and trade your used gear. I've used them in the past. I've sold my Canon 5D Mark IV with them. It was so easy to do and they gave a really fair price, genuinely gave a great price. All I had to do is, all I did was go on the website, put in my camera's details, the condition that it was in, then they sent me a quote, I accepted the quote, they sent me a shipping label, all done, money in the bank, a few days, no problem. But it's not just selling gear, you can buy gear from them as well. So if you wanna buy a new camera, or well, a used camera, but you know, new to you, uh, it's a great place to go. Buying used gear will save you a lot of money and for my entire life, I've bought used gear. It's always a very safe thing to do. Or you can just trade your gear. So if you fancy any of that, definitely give them a visit. That's mpb.com. And I will pop a link in the description below. Now, <laughs> doesn't even look real. Looks like Bob Ross has just placed, painted this landscape in front of me. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at this. Yep, yep, it's uh, oh. the light, the light is starting to come through a little bit, um, but not quite enough. Anyway, I've decided I want to shoot this. I was looking through the viewfinder, I was looking at the composition. And I think it's gonna look amazing as a pano, 
So initially I was just gonna take the shot and crop it, but that's lazy if I'm quite honest. So we'll, uh, we'll pop, well, maybe the 100. Yeah, we'll see if the 100 mil and doing a panel that way. Might be too long, I'm about to put the 24 to 70 on. <laughs> yeah. What am I thinking, man? Wrong lens, wrong lens. Jeez, 24 to 70. Here comes one more to join the party, Mr. Nick Page. It doesn't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we first showed up, uh, we had that really nice storm light. I think that's probably gonna be my... Like that? Oh, just a bit closer. <laughs> Yeah, so when we first showed up and we had all that nice storm light. You want to see all of that? Go and watch Nick's video, because look, he's got, his, he's got his microphone, he's doing videos. So he's here on my channel telling you all what he's been doing. None of you can see it, because I've not got the B-roll, so just go and flip and watch his channel. And then we can get on with waiting for this light. Yeah. may or may not come. The red there, though. Yeah. yeah. It's possible. Yeah. It's possible, but I think my favorite photo is... <laughs> can I have my microphone back? I will link to Nick's channel below. He will have a video from this trip. Anything else? No, that's, that's it. No? That's all I got No? Today. That's fine, I guess. One more bit. Just one more yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit about your shoot that you did. <laughs> you're gonna cut me off. I know no, you're no, gonna no, no. I'm genu We're genuinely interested in your No, I, th I think I got a really good. So I am hoping for an afterglow that's gonna come. <laughs> Remember when I had this place to myself? This is what happens. Yeah. Okay, we, we, it's official, we have light. <laughs> just the tiniest amount of light, it's just a glow. Like it is, it's a very subtle glow, but it's, it just lifts the whole scene. Okay, I can do no more. That is a, that is a wrap for this evening, unless something extra special happens. <laughs> Good evening everybody, back in the van, got the diesel heater going, I'm backing up my drone footage on the laptop because I'm always paranoid that I'm going to lose the drone and therefore lose all my footage, so always backing that up. I've got the EcoFlow Delta 2 charging all my batteries, that thing has been an absolute godsend, it's kept everyone going here, we're all charging all kinds of gear on it, it's fantastic. And um, God, yeah, that's it, I'm about to go to bed. I do have something quite important to say. The weather forecast is predicting fog in the area tomorrow morning. So the weather's the same. It's cold, the temperature's dropped, I've got the diesel heater on. And there may be a chance of another cloud inversion tomorrow morning. Right, so I will check back with you tomorrow morning. Right. <laughs> a cloud inversion but more low-lying mist so uh, still it's pretty cool it's almost as if mother nature is toying with us <laughs> so just sent the drone up to have a bit of a, a look around a scout ahead to see where the best of the fog is and it appears that not only is the best of the fog in our campsite the only fog is in our campsite <laughs> So you wake up, put my head out of the van, because you see beautiful low-lying mist 
ebbing and flowing around the tents and the vans and coming off the river. Get all excited, get up, wake everyone else up. Turns out, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's beautiful, but man, I was hoping it would be extensive like it was yesterday. Oh. Ah, well, that's photography. The mother of disappointment, the queen of disappointment. <laughs> So after the disappointment of that cloud inversion, or lack thereof, and for the past few days, more or less, just shooting from the vehicles, jumping out of the vehicle, grabbing a shot, and as exciting, as fun as that is, I've been craving to really stretch my legs. Oh man, this place is unreal. It's just, the Highlands has to be, has to be one of the best photographic locations on planet Earth. It's a beautiful view. This, this, this uh, platform I'm standing on, this ridge, it's lovely, it's, it's fine, it's perfectly safe, but there's a lot of moss on it, delicate soft moss. So this tripod is very sketchy. That tripod that you're sitting on is very sketchy uh, because I'm refusing to touch the moss. I'm not gonna stab my tripod hole through the moss because it will be there for the next 10 years or something. So yeah, I gotta be careful in environments like this. So we've got some beautiful light breaking through the clouds and you can probably see behind me the weather, the clouds, the atmosphere. So this is perfect. The composition is so dramatic and I was looking at it through the viewfinder and I couldn't decide should I go super wide, should I go mid, should I even go long. I was trying different lenses and ultimately I decided that I was trying to get everything in and that in my experience is just, well for me it never works, you just end up with you know, a whole load of nothing, basically, just this huge view. So I found that I really like the wide field of view, but when I cropped it to a square, a one-to-one, -one, all of a sudden the landscape became more focused. It was more clear what we were looking at, the pinnacles, the valley, the distant mountain, the clouds, and you can see now the light's coming, and this is fantastic. So I'm gonna shoot this now, I'm at F11, and I'm focusing to infinity, and that's it. Please stay here, continue to shoot the light, polarizer on, polarizer off. Uh, cause it's so dynamic. Yeah, we'll have a wonderful shot here in the highlands of Iceland. Well, I can't complain too much because for the past few days, we've been blessed with some fantastic weather. Unfortunately now, at the very time we all need to pack away, <laughs> it's absolutely hammering it down. It's windy, it's driving rain. I'm all right, I've sheltered under the awning. I can pack away my van nicely. These guys, all in their tents. Man, it's gonna be absolute carnage. Ah, <sighs> But you know, timing's well because we're, we're packing up and leaving anyway, so. Yeah, this is going to be fairly miserable, I think. nice to be back in civilization. Me and the other guys have all parted ways now, so I have about another week or so here in Iceland before I need to get the ferry back to Denmark, drive down to the Netherlands, and then back to the UK. So make sure you stay tuned 
because, well, next week's video on going forward, I'm basically going to be on my own. And now I've got a bit more confidence with the, the van and the F roads and the river crossings. I'm hoping to get out to some beautiful locations for some photography and, of course, camping in the van. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so. And, yeah, stay tuned for next week. All right, cheers, guys. Bye for now. Thank you.